And a really simple activity I like to do is what I call a motivation portfolio. Because most people tend to think I'm going to find one form of motivation. We have a culture that over focuses on I'm going to find my why. And then you go on this vision quest as if you'll find one thing that forever motivates you. What happens when that doesn't show up? There's going to be days where that thing just doesn't move the needle. So what I like to do is build a motivation portfolio. I want you to come up with as many forms of motivation as you can. So I want you to brainstorm motivation. I want you to write them down in a notebook on your phone, whatever. Seeing my kids and how they see my progress because they're noticing that motivates me. An encouraging word from Heidi in one of the lives motivates me. Okay, great. Fitting into clothes in a different way motivates me. The way I look in a mirror motivates me. Whatever. I want you to come up with 20 forms of motivation because on some days, the first 15 won't even show up, but it's going to be item number 16 that goes, oh, that's right. That's what gets me out of bed. So that's what I would say. I think you need to build a motivation portfolio and the more you can add to that, the better.